それではまず WBC 世界ウェルター級チャンピオンチュガレ・レナードの最近の試合ぶりを皆様にご覧いただきたいと思いますこれはラリー・ボーンズを挑戦者に選んで初防衛戦を行いました今年の3月28日ニューヨーク州シラキューズキャリアドームでのその防衛戦の模様です小泉さんレナードのあのデュランからタイトルをようやく勝ち上がりましたボーンズコーナーに釘付けですチャンピオンのレナードこの連打をご注目いただきましょうここでレフリーストップ10ラウンドガリー・ボンズをご覧のような KO で下した初防衛そしてこれが先日6月に行われました WBA ジュニアミドル級チャンピオンアユブ・カルレにレナードが挑戦した時の模様でございます黒いトランクスがレナード白いトランクスサウスポーが日本の工藤からそのタイトルを奪取いたしましたアイブカルデウガンダのチャンピオンですこれで2回級制覇のしていたわけですよねそうですこの細かいパンチチャンピオンが尻餅を突き下りしてダウンレナードのあの速射法のようなで連打の前にヨーロッパスタイルのそのカルデのテクニックを通用しませんでしたご覧のように9ラウンド2分59秒レフリーストップこの瞬間シュガーレイ・レナードが2階級制覇したわけでありますそれでは今度はハーンズがバエズを挑戦者に選んで行いました防衛戦の模様です6月25日レナードカルレ戦と同じテキサス州ヒューストンのアストロドームスタジアムのリング上でありますこれはすごい気をしいんですきましたねあそして追い込んだ186センチ長身のハーン爪に入りますロープから出せませんよね全く動けません挑戦者のバエズ4ラウンド2分10秒このバエズを KO で下しまして3度目のタイトル防衛に成功したハーンスローでもう一度ご覧いただきましょうその連打の凄まじさ強い右です。もうこうなったら時間の問題
thrown by Leonard and Kearns countered with a good right hand. You know, when you're a tall guy the way Kearns is, you know, he leaves that, that opening for you if you throw the right hand. But if he blocks it or you miss, you're in perfect position for him to nail you with that big right hand to his. And there's Ray giving him a lot of head movement, a lot of leg movement, grabbing the ropes, which is a foul, as Davey Pearl pointed out. Leonard. Tensions. Leonard picking up his pace, but he missed with an overhand right and a left behind it. Counter right hand from Kearns, but Leonard forcing him back to the ropes. Now they go toe to toe for the first time. Leonard is really overworking that right hand. Good right hand by Tommy Hearns. Good left hook to the body. That right hand from Hearns got Leonard's attention. Backed him up some. Now Hearns digging to the body, and Leonard fires back. The right hand from Leonard at the bell. Take a look at the action. They were telling Sugar Ray, downstairs, downstairs, but it looks to me the other miss upstairs. Finally, he threw a, an ineffective punch to the body, but almost every one of his punches are aimed at Tommy Hearns' head. But right now, they're finding each other, Tim. They're in front of each other, and they're throwing hard, meaningful punches. And you can see that left hook to the body by Tommy Hearns, a beautiful left hook. That was, those are the kind of punches I like. 15 rounds. The undisputed welterweight championship at stake. The flicking left jab of Thomas Hearns. And the boxer's flat-footed right now, Gil. Yes, but I like that straight right hand to the body that Tommy Hearns is throwing on occasion. It's, there it is again. It sets up other punches, Tim. If this continues to be a chess match, it's... Wild swinging left miss by... Was able to throw that right hand. And to go, round number four. Combination for... Right hand counter by Hearns landed. And a good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard, Tim. Finished off the combination. Right by Leonard, and then two shots right back from Tommy Hearns, slowing the attack from Sugar Ray. Tim, they may have hurt Sugar Ray Leonard. Under the 15-second mark to go. Hearns sensing an advantage here, trying to press it. Final seconds of the fourth. Right landed by Hearns, and an uppercut underneath. Again, Leonard. Hey, there's another straight right hand. There's that left hook to the body. See how that set up the right hand, Tim? And there's another right hand by Tommy Hearns. And they're listening around to so a nice straight right hand to the body, but he's being outpunched by Tommy Hearns, as you can see. At the... But you can see that, Tim, that could cause him a problem later on in the fight. Throw it at me so I can nail you and raise I guess maybe a little too smart to lead with the right hand. The round number five. Well, Ray is, there's a good right hand by Ray Leonard. Threw it over that low left hand, but Ray is gonna have to get a little closer, Tim. He can't stay outside on the perimeter there and just continue to go side to side and let Tommy score points. He's trying to find a way to get inside on this big tall guy, but he knows that Hearns can punch with that right hand and has a good snappy jab anything else he's gonna have to there he's trying to fame with that right hand and now Tommy Hines is giving it back to him showboating with really. anybody can do that he's saying to Ray Leonard right now and then meanwhile Tommy Hearns jab is scoring the points Hearns with a lot of confidence right now that's drawing the crowd into this final seconds round five I wonder Hearns no. championship of the world the fight that very very patient up to this point Tim this way, he's going to have to win seven. Ray counted pretty good that time. Tim, Tim, and he just stops himself. He just can't let himself get off. Leonard misses with a right, but there's a left. A left hand that wobbles Tommy Hearns and backs him up to the corner. Leonard to the attack. Under a minute to go on the sixth. Hearns is in trouble, Gil. But he finally let himself get that left hook off. Tim threw the right hand and came back with the hook instead of dragging himself back out. And he nailed Tommy Hearns right on the chin. And Hearns is in trouble right now. And Ray is a good finisher. We know that. First time in the fight that Leonard has been able to penetrate against Tommy Hearns. Another left by, landed by Leonard. 
And a left to the body by Sugar Ray, really picking up the pace. And a left to the chin. Hearns punching back, but he missed. Leonard keeps the pressure on. Under 20 seconds we go. Now it's in Ray Leonard's territory. He's able to get inside on Tommy Hearns now and punch with him. Another combination landed by Leonard. Final seconds of round six. Hearns right hand up, but you'll get hit on the chin with a left hook. And there's that big left hook. And he senses that he has Tommy Hearns in trouble now. And he'll start taking some chances. There's that left hook again. Leonard right there in front of him now, Gil. Well, Tim, you... Ray senses that he has Tommy Hearns hurt, and he knows he can hurt him. No more time, so Ray is taking a chance, but I think that's what he's going to... Leonard bangs to the body. Solid left hook and the left hand upstairs. Ray has completely changed his style. Hearns got a right hand through. Leonard stayed right there. He bangs to the body again. Uppercut scored by Leonard. That hurt Hearns. Hearns backing up, Leonard on the attack again, but Hearns fires back. This is a completely different Sugar Ray Leonard right now, Tim. He senses something. Those left hooks to the body are the key for Sugar Ray. Though. They set up everything else, Tim. Good combination landed by Leonard. That brings the crowd alive. A lot of Leonard fans here, as you might expect. Pressing Hearns into the corner. Good Lummy Hearns against the ropes. He's the stronger guy. In the Hearns not countering as he was. Get a second win from somewhere, Tim. Looks like a beaten fighter right now. Look at, top, look at Sugar Ray Lando short little left hooks inside. Under the 32nd mark in round seven. Finally, Hearns scores to the body. But he's short for that left hand in the head. And a right hand by Lando. Final seconds of the seventh round. It's all. Leonard, a combination at the back. And change him and make him get back in the fight. Man, he's not going to stop the fight, but he's going to give Tommy Hearns a lecture to try to get him going again. There's a left landed by Hearns. This is the way that Tommy Hearns boxed when he was an amateur, Tim. He wasn't known as a big puncher in the amateurs, but he was a few fucking Tommy Hearns. He had him in trouble. There's a big right hand. Tension with that. And now Tommy's trying to side to side movement. But no question, it's a cautionary round for Tommy Hearns. Not the way he fought. Leonard bangs a good left hook to the body. And a right back from Hearns, his best punch of this round. Stops. Bigger reaching the 22nd mark remaining, and a left landed by Hearns again. So Thomas Hearns using his boxing. But again, Tommy Hearns is scoring points. He's on a perimeter now. He's boxing around, right, throwing that left jab to the body, and he reaches him. There it is again. A good referee is a guy that you very seldom see. I think we've only had one clinch into this 10th round. 10th round for both boxes. The way they have it scored now. And Leonard come advantage all the way through the eighth. Tommy Hearns, a hit on the judges' scorecards, lands a good right hand. Nice combination. He's putting his punches together. Now Tommy is the aggressor. You know, right hand landed by Hearns. Tim uh, Hearns was so a good left hook to the body by Hearns, so, but he was so successful. He won those rounds boxing. Now he's back bombing again. And he just scored another good combination. There's a left landed by Leonard, but right back comes Hearns with a combo. Good right hand lead by Hearns. And a left hook. Hearns in command here in the final 20 seconds. Fighting with confidence, Tim Tommy Hearns. Right hand on Leonard's chin, but you see when he jams. Again, they can't admire your work, Tim. You have to worry about getting nailed at all times. You have to keep those hands up. Gil, you can hear some of the... He's never been behind in the battle. There's that good right hand to the body by Tommy Hearns. I like that as a setup one. There it is again. Now, now he's just the aggressive. It's not throwing punches. Three hands to the body by Lenny. 
might have revenge. That came against Randy Shields earlier this year. Now well, left, left jab now. And a right hand. Right hand staggers Tommy Hearn. Hearn's in trouble again. Leonard all over him. Leonard pounding away with combinations inside. Hearn's trying to grab him. Can't do it. Hearn's driven into the ropes. Leonard pounds him right through the ropes. Davey Per Hearn's evidently pushed through there. Hearn finds in trouble. Leonard jumps on him again. He didn't throw in those last four rounds. He saved up. And boy, did he let him go. Hearn's lunging in desperation landed a right hand that snapped back the head of Leonard. Leonard knows he needs a knockout to win this championship. Hearn's backing up. Leonard after him. And still wobbly legged. You can see Tommy Hearns having difficulty staying upright. A left hand scored by Leonard and a right behind it. Hearns battered around the ring, won't go down. What a flurry by Sugar Ray Leonard. And again, Hearns trying to hold on, but he can't get a grip on him. A right hand by Leonard and a left. Missing with the right as Hearn sprawls through the ropes. Davey Pearl this time counting Gill. Knockout of Tommy Hearn. Now Gill, this was what appeared to be a knockdown. Well, Timmy was right by that uppercut. He wobbled into the ropes, but he was still standing. Then you see Ray miss a punch and push him down and then miss the next one. So score a knockdown at pound number 14. And Leonard comes quickly off the stool and throws a right hand to the body of Thomas Hearn. He's very shaky. As he's bouncing around, you can just see the shake in his legs. And you know, Tim, when the guys have never been on the canvas before, you never know how they're going to react when they get up. He's had no experience being down. A renewed sense of purpose. Big right hand. Burns staggers along the ropes. Let it after him. He's in all kinds of trouble again. Gil, how come the Hearns doesn't grab onto Leonard here? Tim, he's not trying to grab. He's never been in this position before. He doesn't know how to grab. He's always had the other guy in that position. Leonard now going to the head and down to the body, banging away at Hearns, who hasn't fired a punch back. Well, we can see Tommy staggering around the ring. The legs just won't hold him. Ray knows he's a sitting duck right now. And look at the punishment that Sugar Ray is dishing out. There's no better finisher in boxing than Sugar Ray Leonard. When you get in trouble with Sugar Ray Leonard, it's all over.